In a world where we're always trying to make our rides smoother or softer or more cushy or more compliant, more complicated, <laughs> this last weekend riding in Moab on clunker bikes on the Navajo Rocks trails was, was awesome. If the whole trail's like this, I'm good, Steve. <laughs> Go ahead, crew. Oh, yeah. So the start of all this was back in April of this year where all of us got state clunkers oh. and took them down to the Gem Trail in Southern Utah and rode them stock. That was awesome fun. Today, we're all here with our modified state clunkers. Some added disc brakes, some added V brakes, welding on tabs and all kinds of things. You guys saw my build last week. I kept it pretty clean. I've got a Sturmy Archer rear hub with a kick shift two speed. No cables, no nothing. Basically a, a regular gear and then a faster coasting gear. And only a coaster brake. Super clean and super fun. So sit back, relax, and watch this extended cut of, of our ride on the Navajo Rocks Trail down in, in Moab, Utah. Oh, heart attack. Yeah, two of them. What's wrong, John? Yeah, used to a fork on that kind of stuff. Oh, I just shifted. Oh. Hey, thanks guys. Have a good ride. Thank you too. All right, climbing gear. Yeah, go for it. I had to shift. I was in the wrong gear. I was in the hard gear. Woohoo!
Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hey. That was fun. Let's go back and do it again. Oh, I'm loving this Brook saddle. Oh. Bonus points for anyone who can get the theme here. Okay. What's it say on the side? Definitely. The third will give it away. Oh, oh the 18. That's it, 18. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, what was, <laughs> but what was Mr. T afraid of? Flying. Flying! Yeah. God, they'd have to, they'd have to knock him out every that's, time. That's, uh -huh. yeah. that's good fun. Hey, you got the right saddle, though. So. Oh, this is... It got totally soaked in the rain. It's all good and broke in. I was, sorry, I was losing it on the side too far. I couldn't straighten out. I don't know if these porcupines are the best Moab tires. Hey, bunker. Yeah. Oh, I missed that fork. Howdy, thanks.
Oh yeah, cruising gear. The champion of this build is the Brooks Saddle. I'm loving the the flex now that I'm really tired and I'm sitting more. It totally rounds off the rounds the edge off of everything. It's good and broken in from all the rain coming up yesterday. It's awesome. It's conformed to my butt. That's beautiful. <laughs> Feet are totally in the wrong spots. Oh, totally cut the trail off. Huh? Pretty nice stuff. Oh, so the kick shift gear has not been what I hoped it was. It's not a better climbing gear, it's a better coasting gear. And basically, whenever I brake all the way, I do shift. Also, when I get going really fast and coasting, it'll often shift. Woohoo! Definitely more conscientious of smooth line choices on these bikes. Smooth and steady.
if I could just figure out how to shift better and how to not shift when I don't want it to, I think it'd be super useful. Starting to get the hang of the shift. It's just not always ideal when you break and have a climb and it's been shifted into the coasting gear. Like that. So first off, this Navajo Rocks Trail in Moab, Utah was awesome. It was perfect to really get the hang of the kick shift on my bike and to ride these clunkers. I'm grateful to Steve from Hardtail Party for setting up this challenge and making it possible for all of us to get together, modify these clunkers and get out and ride. Be sure to check out his channel, Hardtail Party, subscribe to it and be looking for his upcoming video detailing all the different bikes that were part of this challenge. All of these bikes were just super sweet modifications including disc brakes, cantilever tabs, all kinds of different things themed. It was super fun. I highly recommend these state clunkers. They're an awesome bike to just ride stock and even more fun to modify. So, don't forget to like and subscribe, get out and ride your bike, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.